Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, so we begin with the Ten of Cups. And this is like the happy family card. This is the joy and satisfaction and the love that you gain from your family. And so everybody defines their family differently. And it's a matter of how you view your family. But you can see the couple here raising their arms to the rainbow cups, all of the abundance, essentially counting your blessings for what you have, the children dancing some people want a traditional type of relationship that has children and you're living in the town and you have all these opportunities to function as a unit and so that brings happiness to them. Others define family very differently. They may be single, they may have great friends, uh, they may be close to their own family but enjoy living as they do. So it's again, it's a matter of how you relate to family, but the focus for the week is on the love for your family. And there's happiness, there's delight, there's the sense that what we work for makes, you know, when you have a family, it makes the hard work much more pleasing and much more satisfying to do. Your other big awareness for the week is that you're going to have to figure out the balance for your life. You're juggling. You are doing a high step dance here and you're doing everything you can not to drop the pentacle or the balls in the air that you have in your life. We're, you're busy. You have a lot going on. And it takes skill and it takes time to try to prioritize and to devote your energy and your focus and your resources to what you have to accomplish and what you have to do, the bills that you have to pay, the relationship between work and play. So you have decisions to make when it comes to all of these things that suck up your time or suck up your money. So you have to really work this week to think about maintaining the balance so that it really doesn't drive you crazy, I think. Maybe that's the message that we're getting is to continue. You're feeling like the juggler. You've got a lot going on. It could also indicate you're going to become even more busy. So be just be mindful of that. So now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. Okay, so we have the sun, fabulous major arcana card about happiness, about high energy, about feeling confident and good about what you're doing. And you're having success and people are noticing because why you're radiating that positive energy. The sun brings our life force. It brings to us the sense of cre being creative, being inspired following our passions, feeling free. When we follow our passions, we have that sense of freeness. We have that sense of carefree um, uh, enjoyment. And you can see the baby on the horse. He's feeling free. The red banner, again, passions, life, living life to its fullest, having fun, letting go. You may have been putting on a lot of effort towards your family, towards providing for your family through juggling. Here's a chance to feel good about things and to enjoy and simply be and, uh, you know, enjoy your family, enjoy your activities, soak up the sun. And, you know, again, it's your light when you're happy and you're feeling good, good relationships, good work relationships as well making progress toward your goals, then your light shines out to the world and it's, it's a great thing. So then with the Page of Wands we're talking about here, we're talking about more excitement for you. And Sagittarius, you know, you're a fire sign, you live for adventure, you live for excitement. 
And so what's next? What is it that you're thinking about that you want to bring into your life? A travel, perhaps you're traveling. Is it a new hobby? Is it a new side hustle? Is it something else that's going to pique your interest to make you want to dive right in or jump right in? You may be getting a chance to socialize or you may be getting an invitation to do something over the weekend in the next few weeks. And it's an opportunity for you to live and to have some fun and to be your charming, charismatic self. Uh, you bring the energy to the party. So enjoy that and bring that energy out and have some fun. So now I'm going to choose two cards for possible outcomes. Okay, go here. Ooh, nice. And I'm going to dig down here somewhere. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So we have the star, Major Arcana. This card is about healing. It's about finding the balance between your physical self, your emotional or spiritual self. You can see the water being poured into the pond and onto earth. She's without clothes. She's open, feeling authentic, feeling comfortable in her own skin, no matter what happens. Uh, because why? She's probably had a struggle or two, and then she's having to deal with that. So here is this sense of healing, of doing things that are going to put you in a good position to recover. We look to the stars for guidance. We look to be inspired by the stars. And sometimes our path is given to us by the universe. And we need to rest and be in a position to accept. The real true message of the star is to have faith in the universe and to believe in the future, to believe in the outcome. And... It's the belief that everything for you is going to be okay. So among all of these fab cards, here's the Three of Swords, the little stinker. No, I'm kidding. Three of Swords, gosh, three swords piercing the heart. Listen, something is going to hurt this week. Maybe someone says something not very nice to you and it hurts your feeling. Maybe someone takes advantage of you and rips you off and you feel that sense of loss. These, this rainy day cloud thing, it happens to everybody. I feel that it's tampered down a bit because the sun really is a very strong, powerful card within this reading. And I think that this is something that you can overcome. Uh, healing, perhaps you're going to be thinking of the positivity doesn't mean along the way of happiness and joy that there aren't a few ouches or a few bumps in the road. You're going to be able to deal with it, Sagittarius. You're going to be able to put it in perspective. It's a life lesson. I had high hopes for someone and they let me down. I had high hopes for a situation and it turned out to be a dud. And you may have invested money or time or energy and it may just make you feel pretty lousy. Focus on the blessings that you do have in your life to get through any challenging times. Focus on doing the things that you love because that's going to bring you back to your place, your place of comfort. So Sagittarius, interesting cards. Let's see what else we have for you in terms of focus area or messages to meditate on. The presence of love will always cast out fear. So that's great which is come from a place of love, operate from a loving heart. And uh, I would also say when you love yourself, when you're authentic to yourself, and when you have faith that the universe is 
moving you in a particular route and that everything's going to be okay, then it lessens the fear. And now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these. Caregiver. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others. Excuse me, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. Well, for some of you, this will be a direct um, connection. Many people are caregivers and, again, providing the ultimate service. But don't forget to take care of yourself. And that goes to everybody's state of mind is do not neglect yourself in taking care of yourself to be your own caregiver. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. And we'll see what messages we have for love. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Sometimes it's second nature to want to control things. 